Hello, join me today on a leisurely ride along the side of the Peak Forest Canal. Starting here at Bugsworth Basin and finishing at the magnificent Marple Aqueduct. Here at the Bugsworth Basin we are at the end of the canal where it once connected with a horse-drawn tramway that carried gritstone, limestone and burnt lime to be loaded at Bugsworth for onward carriage to Manchester, the North West and Midlands. We'll be following the upper section of the canal for the seven miles to the Marple Locks. A series of 16 locks which drop the canal down 210 feet or 64 meters in the space of one mile, making it one of the steepest flights of locks in the country. The lower section of the canal then runs over the 100 foot high Marple Aqueduct, our destination, before continuing a further 8 miles to Duckenfield and Manchester. For much of its length the canal runs alongside the pretty River Goit. The Peak Forest Canal was begun in 1794 and was designed to transport limestone from the quarries of Derbyshire. The canal opened in 1800 but it was not until 1804 that marble locks were finally completed. By the end of the 19th century the canal was handling over 600 tonnes of limestone per day. Other cargoes included coal, cotton, grain and manufactured goods with commercial traffic continuing on the canal until 1959, although the Bugsworth Basin had closed in 1926. As you ride along the canal, you will see an abundance of wildlife. We are now passing the Furnace Vale Marina.
noticed the Reliant built into the canal boat hidden behind the conifers. Obviously a fan of Only Fools and Horses. This is one of the manually operated swing bridges you will find on the canal. We're now approaching the New Mills Marina. The factory you see ahead with the chimney is the Swizzles Sweet Factory. As you pass this factory, there's a strong sweet smell. So strong you can taste the sweets. This is one of the barges that helps maintain the canal tow path. Here we see another swing bridge. We're now approaching one of the modernised electrical lift bridges. The boaters operate the bridge with a master key which allows them access to the control panel. This lift bridge is still operated manually.
Lifting the bridge is a very slow process. One of the crew will leave the boat further up the canal, run down to the bridge and start lifting it ready for the boat to pass under. The canal path caught me out as I came out of this bridge. There was a sharp right hand bend and a steep incline. I was, I was in too high again and came to an abrupt stop. The canal path is now on the opposite side of the canal. We are now at Marple Junction. Off to the left there is Macclesfield Canal. Just ahead is lock 16, one of the 16 locks at the Marple Flight. Now starting to drop down 200 feet in just less than a mile. Now continuing down the Marple Flight.
lock number eight. We are still only halfway down this flight of locks. It takes approximately four hours for a boat to negotiate all these locks, much longer if they are in a queue or there are boats coming in the opposite direction. Finally at lock number one, just a short distance now to the Marple Aqueduct. Now passing under the Marple Viaduct which runs alongside the Marple Aqueduct. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you've not already subscribed, then please subscribe to my channel for more Out and About with Martin. Remember to click on the like button. And if you'd like to support me in making more vlogs, there's a link in the description where you can buy me a coffee. Until next time, bye.